Hello and welcome everybody to the Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. Looks like my memory card's been read from past data. And let's go ahead and start with a new game. Yep, fine deleting the old data. New name, I'm gonna go Jay Wits. So, um, I had a vote. You guys overwhelmingly stated that you wanted me to do live commentary versus post. So we're gonna do that. It's going to be uh, super dirty since this is my first Let's Play ever. But um, I guess you'll get that nice personal Jay Wits touch. So that should be fun, right? I'm going to go with Jay Wits, but I'm going to keep calling this guy Wes just because I, I can't relate to him. Look at how much cooler than me he is. So um, yeah, Wes it is, but we're going to make it Jay Wits. So I don't know because I said so. So, um, this is one of the two 3D Pokemon RPGs, uh, much like the handheld games. You leave town, um, leave your mom, and you go and collect the bat- Oh, no, just kidding! Explosion Bald Man Factory! Arr, my mustache is too big! And, ooh, shiny object! Shing! Okay! So this is a little bit different. You've got an entire bald man army angry at you. You've stolen their hair formula. And oh, shake a fist at him. Maybe he'll come back. Um, all right. Hey there, Aspion. Jump in. All right. Um, that's definitely good for the environment. And an extra explosion just for kicks. Red, you can eat your heart out. Pokemon has actually tried to make a character that is badass. So that's Pokemon Coliseum for you. Um, no, it's not quite like the regular series games. Um, in some ways, it's actually worse. It's a, it's a much shallower experience. There aren't comprehensive gyms and huge overworlds and stuff. But hey, it's 3D. It's one of the most underrated or at least underplayed games. Uh, you guys voted for it a ton. So I thought that this would be a great place to start. So we've got this terrible running animation, and here we are. Uh, we've got these two goons. We sure pigged out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Boss will be sure to fix us a good with big rewards, too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Okay, so we've got Dumb and Dumber here. Um, it could get better than this. You could not look horrible. Um, so they're off. I guess they just didn't notice me standing right in front of them. But yeah, um, kind of lame to go from Explosion World to Sand Train, but whatever. Damn, we interrupt this news for a Pokemon report. Authorities made a stunning announcement. Elko Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. <laughs> you couldn't have a lamer sounding criminal organization. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the ruined building had nearly been abandoned. Already been abandoned. Should become apparent eventually. Alright. So here we are in this cute little bar, jukeboxy, I don't know. It's like a diner. You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? I think so. I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive, too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. Heh. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Well, you have the right mindset, my friend, of an NPC. Too often you get the, the Rattata Joeys that won't shut up about how much better they are than you, even though they only have one horrible Pokemon that... Oops that you ruin. Um, this guy, no. He knows he sucks. He's already admitted defeat. So good for you. You're really making a progressive stance for Pokemon NPCs everywhere. So these guys are all just usual chit-chat. Not that it matters any. Relax. Stick around a while. Well, I talked to everybody, so I'm not going to stick around for a while. Yo, wait up. Hey, my name's Willy, and I got a good look at you. Well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Any way I look at it, it's obvious you're no ordinary Joe. So what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Okay. Yeah, that's the spirit. 
All right, all right. Over this way. So, um, Willie is, let's just say, very enthusiastic about bailing with you. <laughs> I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. From Vroom, let's roll. Oh, God, you're the worst. This is the same guy who said, um, he's definitely worse than you. So I don't know where he gets all this. Oh, God. Double zigzagoon. Well, you know what? Good for you, Willie. You're right. You are going to lose. You are horrible. So, um, unlike most games, you're starting with level, I guess, 25 and 26 Pokemon. Also, their evolutions, Espeon and Umbreon. Um, kind of weird when you consider this is a Generation 3 game and you have two Generation 2 Pokemon to start with, but whatever. Umbreon and Espeon are awesome. Oh, man, yeah. One hit KO. Sorry, Zigzagoon, but you're terrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even getting any experience. All right, Umbreon, use Bite. Okay, so um, it's interesting. Umbreon's a full level higher than Espeon, but... Oh, and he flinched, so that's cool. But um, it seems like Umbreon does less damage, at least with Bite, compared to Confusion. I know it's Bite's probably a worse attack, but as far as uh, same type attack bonuses go, Espeon is the king right now. So yeah, you're done. That was that was a joke. Oh yeah, that's kind of weird. So Umbreon also starts with more experience. So he's more than a full level ahead of Espeon. It's like they knew he was worse. I still need seasoning. That you do, my friend. We get 240 Pokebucks for winning. You're tough. Real tough. You did a number on us. I know. Why not test your skills in Fennec City? You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. Oh god, I hope. You should go out there and get some battling in. Alright, um, West. Never eat soggy waffles. And off we go. Oh, so, so you'd think that you'd keep running, find routes or something, but no, you're already in fast travel. So it's like you have fly right to start, except there are no interconnecting routes. So like I said, much smaller game. So, um, it's a lot faster. I don't have to burden you guys with a bunch of time-wasting stuff, but it's also, I don't know, takes a little bit of the joy out of going from city to city. But whatever, here I am. What are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. It makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> oh, God. Kid, okay, so they have a person in this bag. I don't know if there's any hair in there. That punk hear all that? Well, yes, I'm right here. You didn't notice me last time. <laughs> you can see the bag moving around. Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. And my bad luck that I have to trash you? Shady guy Folly wants to battle. So, um, that reminds me of something in this game. Everyone has the dumbest name. Um, Folly is close to as normal as you get. Um, but just watch, we'll get some weird ones over the course of the game. Alright, so here we go. Bite Whismer and Confusion Whismer. And watch, um, I'm gonna use Confusion. This is the level 25 Whismer we're hitting here. Down in one hit. But, um, Umbreon probably won't even take out the level 24 one. Bite out of crime. Oh, oh, nope, not quite. Uproar. He's freaking out. Um, oh, pfft, nothing. Oh, but he caused an uproar. He's making an uproar. He caused and he's making an uproar. All right, um, so Whisper's done. Just look at it. Okay, so Return's my only other real attack of Espeon. Not terrible, like, if I build up my friendship. Reflex okay, helping hand. Eh, what? I want to make Umbreon more powerful. Okay, so... Kill him with kindness. Female Whisper, you're done. Okay, so now Umbreon's two levels above Espeon. And we did it. Um, defeated Shady Guy Folly. You're even tougher than you look! <laughs> and 
You're even dumber than you look. Uh, so, you took out my Whismer. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? <laughs> like it takes an unordinary one to do that? Might you be? Team Snagums? Team Snagums what? Oh, we'll never know all these people are here. Robbers, nope. We're kidnappers, get it? Um, you dingbat, don't shoot off your... You guys are so dumb. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, yuck. There's someone inside there. What a horrible thing to do. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the... You're not opening it. Can you give this rope a tug from the other side? Yes. Tugged hard in the tightly knotted rope. Gradually loosened, keeping the sack's mouth closed. <laughs> so descriptive, considering I'm just standing there. Don't even give me an animation. Oh, hello there. I'm saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is FedEx City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Is that so? Oh, well, thank you. And you are? I am... Yeah, see, here's where we start getting, like, Japanese... Rui, Anka, Yuki? No thanks. So, um, as a kid, I always decided to call her Misty. Um, because she's got red hair, and... <laughs> no, that's the only reason. <laughs> she has red hair. <laughs> I guess she tags along, too. No, but, um, we're just gonna go... I'm glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys. Did they use a peculiar Pokemon? Yeah, he had two Whismur. No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? No, oh, that's fine then. It's easy to see something on your mind. You should go see the mayor for your advice. He's a very kindly person. The mayor's house is near Founding Square past here. Okay. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. I'd hope so. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? No. Oh, but but those men might come back. Okay, so they don't give you an option. Thank you, Jay Wits. Oh, I thought you might say that. If you're with me, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Okay, that was a delayed celebration noise. All right, Misty is my partner. So uh, here we are in Fenex City. Um, oh, hey, it's a cast form. Come back. <laughs> hoa hoa! That's the sound that I know cast form makes. Um, alright, so here we are. It's kind of cool place. Hello, old man. What fine weather this is. It's truly a perfect sort of day for a Pokemon battle. So, young one, how about indulging this old man? Sure, I'll, I'll bring it on, old man. Old man... Fun old man trick. <laughs> this ain't your regular old man. He's fun. All right, hoot hoot and centric. And my usual duo. I mean, props to you, old man. It is very fun that you're not using two of the same Pokemon, but you're still gonna get rolled. Um, go bite, bite and confusion. That's gonna be it for m most of the time. Until I get other psychic or dark attacks. Oh, hey, you didn't get killed in one hit. Good for you. Boom. Okay, so this will be a regular... Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it won't be a regular two-hit KO. Uh, miss. Ooh. Okay. Um, oh, defense curl. That's, that's gonna help, Sentra. Good job. Alright, so don't you hate it when you're like, you have, you've got a battle, you know you're gonna win. Um, these Pokemon are terrible. But, um, ugh, still asleep. But they just inflict status conditions or something dumb that makes it take longer than it should. Okay, yeah, Sentret, you're dead. It's kinda cool. Nice balance. And still no 26 for Espeon. Ooh, and I just got packed. Wake up. Look at who, he's jumping up and down. He's laughing at you. Uh, <laughs> worst part is if I finish this battle and 
Espeon stays asleep. Um, he'll be asleep next battle. All right, so you guys are done. You weren't very fun, old man, let me tell you. Fun, old man, Dre. Oh, gotta concede this one, lad. Oh, well, at least I took 800 Pokebox from you. Thanks for the deep pockets, old man. You're young, but you've got a bit of spine. You're just like me when I was young. Oh, God, no. Don't want to grow up to be you. Yeah, when you were young, did you have good Pokemon? Because that's what I have. All right, so uh, I'm going around the fountain. Looks like I have to stop at the Poke Center already. This is embarrassing. Sorry, guys. Got a wake Espeon up. Hello. We restore. A, 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 A. Yes, restore. Actually, that was pretty quick. I can't complain. All right, and we're out. As far as I remember, everybody in the city is really boring. Um, I don't think there's any, like, special side quest or anything. Move. Um, that area in the middle is called the pre-gym. Even though I don't think there's gyms in this game, there's a pre-gym that you can go to. Oh. I think this is the mayor's house. Hmm, I guess you're a traveling trainer. Oh god, you look like the... <laughs> The bad guy from Final Fantasy X. Hmm, I like what I see in your expression. Foo foo foo. I have a feeling I might see you again somewhere. Oh god. <laughs> the pink pa the long, like, blue crazy hair. Um, I can't think of the name of that guy's name because everybody has a dumb name in that game too. Um, the comment section. Uh, drop that because I, I can't think of the name of the bad guy in Final Fantasy X. You must be travelers. Welcome to Fennec City. I am S. Cade, the mayor. What a see dumb names all day long. Now, you wanted to see me? Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Err. Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I saw it. Oh, you did? Saw it? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, oh, oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine? And it attacks people? Now if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. Oh man, you're a dick. <laughs> it's true, it's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men. I see, I understand. I'll order an investigation at once. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. No, 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 thanks. No. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish. Especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like... Okay, you're weird. Give me a little time on this matter. Oh, yes. You appear to be Pokemon trainers yourself. And visit the Pokemon Stadium. So, um... I guess we need an Nintendo... <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. But... Ew, you're awfully pixelated. This is a repeat of an earlier news story. Oh, this is what we already heard. Blah, blah, blah. Team Snagum. Explosion. Clash between members. Destroy the snag machine. Use your stealing Pokemon. Hmm. The small portable snag machine appears to have been taken by a sne Team Snagum member who blew up the Team Snagum hideout. Uh-oh. I think I know what that is. I think that's what we're wearing on our left arm. I think we're in trouble. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, the mayor's just got this, uh, this little floozy here. Um, aren't you a cute guy? Oh, well, I guess she's not very loyal. Giggle. It must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm not even going to entertain that. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think that this is a pretty good run for the first episode. Um, stage is set. Mysterious shadow Pokemon. What is this snag device on my left arm? Um, why did they say a Team Snag member stole it? What kind of terrors await us at the pre-gym? Uh, tune in next time for my next PokePlay video at Pokemon Coliseum. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have had for uh, anticipation in this video. And I'm going to do my best to update once or twice a week and continue to get better and better with my videos. Uh, this is my very first Let's Play, so who knows? It might be a disaster. It might already be a disaster, but uh, we're just going to try keep getting better, and hopefully 
will be even better by the time we reach Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. So again, thank you very much for watching and tune in for part two. Thanks.